Greetings, everyone. Happy weekend. I hope everyone's having a nice uh, start to the weekend. It's a beautiful day here in Southwest Florida. It's about, I would say, 75, 78 degrees. A nice, a nice day here. It's been a chilly um, winter so far here in Florida. This part of uh, this part of Florida, and it's a really nice to get nice weather. This is definitely good beach and good swimming pool weather. So we look forward. I hope everyone looks forward to enjoying the weekend. Uh, enjoy the Super Bowl, and I hope the Hope you are rooting for the team that you want to win in. I hope you enjoy that. So this video is going to be um, probably relatively quick, about five minutes. I wanted to talk about the pricing and if I got a good value on my last uh, celebrity cruise, which was about ten days or ten days or so ago. So this was a five-day, four-night cruise on the Celebrity Silhouette. And if you saw our previous videos, you know that I booked the cruise less than 24 hours prior to departure. So I'll go into the, the details of the price and tell you, you know, if I felt this was a good value and I got my money's worth. So we'll get right into the pricing. So I booked this cruise on a Wednesday and the cruise left on Thursday. I booked this cruise about 8.30 in the morning. The cruise was listed for an inside cabin at $1,000, about a little bit over $1,000. And this was the last inside cabin. I think there was one or two inside cabins and there was two concierge class cabins. The concierge class cabin was, I believe, fourteen seventy three, dollars uh, single occupancy pricing. So what that means is the prices that I'm telling you is if there's one traveler, one passenger in the cabin, so solo, a solo traveler is paying 150 to 200% more, right, for the single supplement. So I'm paying as if sort of there's two to three, sometimes three people in the cabin. So the cruise line is, ma is making their money, making sure even though the cruise you know, the cabin has one person in it, it's almost like just three people because I paid that single supplement price. Does that make sense? I think um, people that maybe been on cruises maybe understand how cruising is usually, ver uh, it's always priced uh, double occupancy, not single occupancy. If you have any questions about the single supplement or any pricing uh, regarding solo cruisers, you know, let me know. Write something in the text box. I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. So the price of my cruise was about $1,030, and that included the gratuities, nothing else, no drink package, no Wi-Fi. If you looked at some of the previous videos, you know that I had a future cruise credit, so an FCC, future cruise credit, for $500. So once they applied the $500 of the future cruise credit, the total was like $530. So, does Jonathan think that was a great price? Yes. $530 for five nights, five days, four nights on a premium cruise line, on a premium ship, having all your food and entertainment included. Where can you get that at any resort in the Caribbean, the Mexico, Bahamas? Where, where, can, you, where can you get that? Where, you, you stay in a hotel on average, especially now in Florida that we're in season. Season is probably just kicking off in mid, you know, probably next week, we have hotel room rates going for $399 per night plus tax. One night in a hotel, $400. I got a four night cruise for $530, including gratuities, including ocean transportation and meals and entertainment. I think I got a really good deal, which is usually not the case for me because obviously most of my cruises are usually solo, so you're paying that single supplement um, fee. And Celebrity, Celebrity was in the news about a month and a half ago saying that they were even going to increase that even more for single supplement cruisers. Celebrity quickly realized they made a mistake because they see that there is a need and a niche for people that travel solo. And, they, and solo cruises have been supporting Celebrity Cruises throughout the years in booking you know, by themselves. And they quickly reverse increasing the single supplement even maybe to 250 to 300 percent. They reverse that I think in a couple of days, which I'm happy to hear. So yes, the cele celebrity silhouette was an amazing deal at 530 dollars. If the tables were turned, and I had to pay the the thousand dollars, which included the gratuities, would I say that was a good price? I would say it's fair, thousand dollars for four nights, so about 200. 200 plus a night, it's okay. It's not great. But I'm glad that I paid the $530 a night. I feel like it was an excellent value and the cruise was amazing. Go look back, check out some of the tours of the ship, the different public areas. Check out the, the inside cabin tour of, of the cabin that I was in, uh, the, the various lounges, restaurants, various sailways. It was a really, really great cruise. It was um, highly worth the $530. Well, 
I think I'll end the, uh, this video here. If you have any questions regarding single supplement, any, any questions about celebrity silhouette, come on, put it in the text, mo text box. I'd, be lo I'd love to get a dialogue going with you, answering any questions you may have about this cruise, any questions about celebrity cruises, anything about celebrity solstice class ships, I'll be, uh, I'll be thrilled to answer. But yes, this was a great value and an amazing cruise. And I highly recommend it to anyone, maybe if you're looking for a short cruise, Third, uh, short cruises through season. So the season for Caribbean usually ends in about April. The ship leaves on Thursday doing four night cruises to Key West and Nassau, and then longer cruises leave on Monday to the Eastern and Southern Caribbean. So with that, I hope you have a gorgeous weekend. It's beautiful out. Enjoy the weather here if you're in Florida. And with that, I ask you please like, comment, share, subscribe. Even, even if you don't subscribe, Put, put a message to me. I love to talk. I love to answer any questions you may have about cruising. With that, I wish you a wonderful weekend. On board with Jonathan out.